Hi there, my name's Scott Bailey. I'm the UK product manager for the Series Control products range. And today I want to introduce you to our new 3RC7 Intelligent Link Module. The Intelligent Link Module um, is being introduced to allow us to get more capability, more transpar transparency out of our uh, load feeder components. So a standard load feeder uh, in our S0 size here looks like this and the Intelligent Link module takes the place of the dumb piece of uh, molded plastic and copper here to bring more functionality in terms of current monitoring, in terms of um, operational maintenance uh, visibility, so you know how, how many times uh, the motor is run, how long it's been running for, how many times the contactor is actuated, so that you can get better predictive maintenance for your overall system. So for the 3RC7 uh, Intelligent Link module, um, it can be bought standalone as the unit that you're seeing across the front here. So the contactor is hidden now underneath the bottom part of the link module. Um, so it's available for the S0 and S0 size um, breaker and contactor uh, combinations um, in ranges of so there's 12 variants of 0.4 to 4 amps, 1.2 to 12 amps, 3.5 to 32 amps. So there's a good coverage all the way from 0.4 up to 32 amps. So you've got plenty of switching and uh, monitoring opportunities with the link module. You can also um, buy the, the link module as a complete load feeder. So like what you're seeing here installed in 3RV29 system. And that's called 3RA8. Again, there's a few variants available of that, so you, you can use each of the, the different size ranges. Um, other variants that are possible, um, again, for all of the different sizes, is the standard and the high feature versions. The benefit that you get with the high feature version is the increased uh, energy monitoring functionality into each load feeder. So where before you might have seen a, uh, an energy meter on the front of your control panel, monitoring the whole system, we can now get better data out of just monitoring the load to each of our motor feeds so that we can get a better idea of how our motors are performing um, and again plan that um, preventative maintenance so that we don't avoid in downtimes on the plant. What I'll be introducing you to, how we can put this system together, how it assembles into the load feeder. Uh, we'll show you how it can be mounted, i.e. into the 3RV29 system that you can see here, how the power cabling is achieved and the accessories that allow you to achieve the daisy chain communication on the devices. Um, and what you need to know is that this all uh, is possible through the use of the ET200 SPPLC remote I.O. system. Um, so it's essential to be able to con uh, connect with either a ET200 SP CPU or interface module. Thank you for your attention through this video. Um, hope you really like the, the, the new 3RC7 Intelligent Link module um, and you can see plenty of applications where this might help you and your customers um, to gain better transparency over their plants and systems. Upcoming um, with the 3RC7, I am doing a roadshow around the UK throughout March educating our distribution partners in how they can sell this product to you guys and you can get the absolute most out of it. Um, in addition to that, I'm offering workshop um, sessions throughout the UK where we can take a deeper technical dive into all of the functions and features that are available with 3RC7 um, so you can get a better understanding of uh, how that can integrate into your existing systems uh, and improve those. So thank you for watching and see you next time.